Hey guys, Don here. Yet again, welcome to another peer review. We're on to yet another Brewdog beer. Another IPA. This time we have the big one apparently. There are 200 IBUs, theoretical apparently, what I've been reading. And yeah, this one that's before June 26th of next year. And this is their Brewdog Jackhammer Ruthless India Pale Ale, 7.2%. Now, I know realistically that, well, not realistically, but from what I've heard, there's only a certain amount of IBUs that you can really taste uh, to a certain point, I guess. But but if this one's uh, yeah, this one sounds like a, a giant of a beer. Well, let's give her a pour. We'll find out how she be. Now that doesn't look uh, like a too hot heavy beer, but unless I read her wrong. Fair amount of legs, a little bit of legs on her. Nice orange color. I really you know I really like that color on beer. Nice cloudy orange. Yeah, fair amount of friggin' legs on her. Yeah, she's sticking up there good. Anyways. Thanks, Neff. Yeah. Nice even, nice even low smell going on. Hmm. Honey, little uh, citrus going on. Hmm. Smells pretty good, this. Try a taste of her. Lots of nice citrus in there. Uh, a little sugary, tiny bit. Uh, orange, lemon, little uh, little kicky yellow grapefruit. Well, maybe I read that wrong. So I don't think it's going to be that high. But of course, you know, I've had it for, like I said, a month or so. So this probably has died out a bit. But which, like I said, I like when, you know. I like IPAs when they settle a bit. I don't like them right dead ahead, punch in the face kind of, you know, that goofy kind of thing going on too much. Yeah, it's coming through well right now. I mean, nice smell. There is a lot of... Uh, it's a tongue tingler, you know, it gives you a little tingle in the tongue there. A lot of grapefruit, grapefruit coming through in the middle, which is really nice. Actually, I'm quite enjoying this one. It's much better than the, uh, than the hardcore. This one's uh yeah really nice. You're getting you get a nice earthy fade. Uh, that's a it's a nice grapefruity citrus, really nice uh, citrus hop beer. I mean this is quite nice actually. 
it's got the almost be a, a little bit more a little bit more thick mouthfeel probably be better for it but yeah I mean I'm running on my face here anyways <laughs> Oh, it's just a yeah. It's a nice one. It's it's quite easy to drink too, and this would be a sneaky beer. And there is a fair amount of hop oil kicking around on this bad boy. Tiny bit of booziness, but yeah, I only find it adds to it. A little earthy, uh, resiny kind of a pininess, tiny bit coming in the back end, which I'm fine with because I I like that little tiny bit as long as it's not overly pine, like piney. You know, it's like you're eating a fucking pine tree. You don't need any of that shit. Yeah, this one's uh, good. I'm. I'm fairly impressed by this one. Uh, I'm going to think this one will be 3.75. As, yeah. Well, oh, can't really say too much more about it. This one's, uh, yeah, nice. It gives you a real nice, uh, it's got, it's getting you right here too in the cheeks, which is, which, which I like for an IPA. Um, I don't like it, like, grabbing you by the face kind of thing. I mean, I've said that before probably a hundred times. But this one is, yeah, quite nice. So, uh, yeah, 3.75 on this one. Um, yeah, what else can I say about it? Very tasty beer. Uh, there's nothing really... Uh, no, I'm not going to say it's nothing really grabs you. It does grab you. I, I won't say that. It does grab you. It's a pretty good beer. I would definitely buy this one again for sure. Yeah, 3.75 guys. We'll see you in a fucking bed, yeah.